I want to welcome you guys to the vlog. We're here in Amsterdam at the airport. Cut it like right on time to get on the flight. I just ran the entire airport like three times. But I got my got my bag, man. That's the bag that's been lost for three days now. The entire Amsterdam trip was lost. I got it. If I could give you guys one tip when flying, eat a lot of food before you get on the plane. It knocks you out, or at least it knocks me out. So I've got two bowls of pasta. I've got a pesto. How do you say? The ar arbiata. 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 <laughs> that is lunch, breakfast, lunch. I haven't gone to sleep yet. I haven't slept a lot this week. I've never been this sleep deprived, but I'm feeling good. Also got tatted up. I'm just kidding. It's a hand tattoo. Um, I think I'm just delusional, man. So welcome to the vlog. <laughs> welcome to the vlog. We're gonna keep it going. <laughs> keep it rolling, man. And we've only done two meetups, so we still have four more. Give me a good tour, man. Just walking three quarters of a mile. That's like a hamstring bird. We made it. Okay. Oh, hell hey. Ah, alright, so you only two. We are currently at Oxford Street, which is kind of like the the main sort of area in my like in my opinion at least of London. Alright, so we're here. We shot some photos with Rob and Ryan, they're back in the Airbnb doing some editing on their videos. And Nabil and I are just here. We're about to do some filming, not get hit by these red massive buses. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you a quick little edit of London done by this guy. Here we go. Chinese food, like recording some sick angles, hanging out in a completely different country. Like, it's cool. But this tour is like super tiring. It's so rewarding. And we had, like, Amsterdam was amazing. We had, like, the team wanted so much on that trip. Like, more than, I think, more than any time ever in history. Just so many memories are being made, like, so quick. Yeah, we're back to the Airbnb. It has no AC. Probably should open some windows if my room has windows. I'm sure it does. Good morning, you two. Uh, right now, myself, Rob, Emily, Hayden are gonna go to the gym. Nabil and Ryan are out shooting. My workout, my workouting has been really, really bad this last week, and just a lot of flight. You know, no excuses. I've been slacking, so we're gonna go find this gym. Then hotel workout now, so um, then me and Ryan had a Oh, you did a workout in Amsterdam? Yeah. Mm, two. When did you do that? I did two. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I did invite Wait. you guys, and you guys were like, eh. When did you invite us? <laughs> we <laughs> said in the group. Landed. I landed late that day. That's why yeah, I invited yeah, you. And then the morning after, I did the worst hotel workout ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was depressing. I think I lost games. Right, so you, can't <laughs> even, you can't even count that. Yeah, I think I lost. So you don't have two on us, you have one that. on us. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I need to make a confession. The last workout video that you guys saw. Yeah, you can't count that. <laughs> YouTuber. In my last vlog, I, I had to get a workout in, and I, I lied and I said I had 40 about five minutes to work out. I had about 15 to 20, and so I only did one set of each super, super set, and it was the only ones for video. So I'm sorry, it wasn't a real workout. I, I lied to y'all. That's like you're getting a real one today, all right? I swear. Yeah. I lied to y'all. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna check out Soho Gyms. Why is there an S on gyms? Can't it just be like Soho Gym London? Yeah. X location. I'm gonna go to Alfleet Gyms. Oh, the worst. This is the worst. I always talk. Wow. 
Oh, I'm not mean to be a dick. I'm not small as far as you I'm gonna do full body today because I just need to, I need to get everything sort of activated. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through the full body workout that I'm about to make up in my head right now. Let's go. All right, Sonny's family, welcome back to another commentary. Today I'm going to take you through my full body workout, not upper day, not lower day, my full body workout. And like I said earlier, my training has been off all the traveling. We're in each city that we're stopping like less than 36 hours, so it's been a little bit difficult, but I'm excited to get back on schedule when I get home. Okay, see here, first movement, flat dumbbell press. You see how the dumbbells are on my knee right now, and I'm shimming, I'm, I'm almost like shimmying, shimming, shimmying, shimmying. <laughs> I'm bringing them up my thigh, uh, closer to my torso. The reason I do that is when you have the dumbbell on your knee and you're kicking them up and trying to stabilize them, it's going to expend more energy. It's a little bit more dangerous than just keeping them really close to your body. So I like to keep the dumbbells close to my body, get in position, and save my energy for the actual movement. So I did 42 kg, which I believe is right at about 90 pounds for four working sets. So, uh, set one, I got 15 reps, and then my uh, reps kind of went down as the sets went on. And second chest motion was a cable fly. Rob and I were working out together and we actually do these a little bit differently. He likes to set the cable up a little bit higher and almost angle a little bit lower. And it, it's a little bit easier to use more weight that way. So if you guys like to do them that way, totally fine. I like to do it that way sometimes also, but today I like to, uh, or I did, I set the cables up right at about chest level if I'm standing straight up. And I try to keep the cables almost parallel to the ground. Um, you're not going to be able to use as much weight if you do it like that, but I personally feel a better contraction that way. Now, back. Okay, two movements for back. We did a pull down. This is kind of like a hammer strength machine. It's not hammer strength, but it's another brand that's pretty similar. Uh, you can do a pull, a body weight pull up, weighted pull up. You can even do a, um, like a pull down. And then I superset of that with a row. So you're getting two angles for your back you're getting a vertical which is the pull down and you're getting a horizontal which is this row you can do one arm at a time you can do both arms at a time whatever you feel like doing alter this thing alter this workout and just use sort of the base basic principles that i'm explaining and get after it man so chest and back are complete and now we are moving Wow, I'm talking fast. <laughs> Onto the shoulders. Uh, because we did a pressing motion with the dumbbells and we did a fly, activating some front delt, some anterior, I wanted to go, hit, go ahead and hit some rear delt, which I am using this rear delt machine. And it's funny because this machine actually does not turn into a pec deck. It looks like a pec deck, but you can't adjust the, the grips. And so, yeah, it's actually a strict rear delt machine and it's pretty cool to use it. So, I did four sets here. Everything is like four sets, eight to 15-ish, guys. You kind of you know, use your knowledge to fixate or to you know, decide how many reps you want to do. And we got the rear out of the way, then moved on to a lateral delt, which I always, always, my favorite. Well, I don't really have a favorite. Sometimes I do cable, cable raises, or I'll do in between the leg, or I'll do dumbbell. I'll kind of mix it up. But today, I went ahead and did the dumbbell raise. Wow. Can you guys keep up with me when I'm talking at this speed? I feel like I talk pretty quick, but I feel like I have to in commentaries to keep you all listening, keep you engaged, keep you on, you know, on your toes. But I don't know. I feel like I don't talk to someone in real life. It's literally just when I'm doing commentaries. I have this like, st I, I go into like this zone when I'm doing a commentary and I feel, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's like a habit. And I always start with, hey, was, welcome back to the commentary. It's your nice family. Welcome back to the commentary, blah, blah, blah. So whatever. I don't know. I'm rambling. Biceps. Straight bar curl, uh, I don't know how much weight I did. Went for about 10 to 12 reps every single set. Flex the tricep at the bottom and don't go too, too. I, I just go right at like shoulder width. And yeah, keep the wrist straight, keep them strong and control the weight. Control that weight, man. And now I'm at the airport. And you guys stick around to the end of the video to see what kind of situation I'm in. Not the best situation, but yeah, I'm not gonna tell you more than that. Next movement, tricep push down. Uh, this is like a dip machine, but I didn't like how it felt when I was sitting down. And so I decided to just stand up and kind of lean forward like this to activate my triceps. The thing about triceps, as long as you're really, really feeling the movement, like do it. And I loaded up the weight. You can see the weight on the left hand corner. I was pretty much doing the whole stack. So I do like to go really heavy on my triceps and um, yeah. Next movement. We've got a leg press because it's a full body day. So I did leg press. I uh, did four plates on my first two sets and five plates on the next two sets. And I finished off with a hamstring curl, a lying hamstring curl, which I didn't record. But yeah, I only did like three sets on the hamstring curl. So you can include it if you want. But thank you guys so much for watching the video so far. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the edit that Nabil did. 
I know I said I'm not going to do as many edits, but if anybody wants to do an edit, I'm going to put it in the freaking vlog. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Appreciate you so much. And I'll see you guys in New York. Or will I? Because let me tell you something. At the last meetup in Amsterdam, it was at a park. And as soon as you're talking to one person, you have like, the crowd of people that are waiting to meet you, right? And if there's no music at all, it, it gets a little, not awkward, right? But you know that people can kind of hear what your, what your private conversation is. And so I'm gonna buy a little speaker, a wireless speaker, wireless, Bluetooth, whatever, and uh, charge it up, take the meetup, and have it like maybe like right behind me, uh, just so there's always something to kind of like play, you know what I mean? To keep the conversation private and kind of keep the vibe going. So let's see what they have here. Hi, sir. Got it. The dedicated one came in clutch. Uh, Emily brings like all of her supplements all the time. Uh, what do you, you bring protein, you bring your protein, sleeping thing, you bring... BCAs, glutamine, pre-workout, everything. Rob? Zero. <laughs> I bring myself. I bring myself and yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna eat more chicken on this trip. Yeah. <laughs> more Nando's if we're yeah. in Europe. Not just do I bring it, but I know I'm fully aware that you guys are not bringing yours. So you bring extra. I bring extra. Even the yeah. funnel, look at that. Wow. That's like true dedication. Um, but two scoops of protein post workout. Thanks, so many. Just chocolate mint flavor. Rob is an analytic whore. Yeah. And looks up his analytics all the time, but. Yeah. It's so smart to do because you can learn so much. And I want to show you guys um, this, which I actually, Rob reminded me to show you. But if you go to my analytics on Instagram, age range 18 and 24, 69% men, 31% women. But my biggest city in the entire world is actually London and then LA, then Houston, New York, Chicago. So today should be pretty crazy. Hey, you charged the A65. Yeah, it's working. Really? Just really? Yeah. How was the workout? Good. Yeah, we did like everything. Yeah, we did a lot. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's been days, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I guess these long sleeves that Marine, Rob, and I was wearing one yesterday are actually launching on the 19th along with like a bunch of seamless stuff. We have the Hero Seamless Range, and then we have, the, I don't know if the name is Seamless Range, which is this one, which is pretty much not so much detailing. It's just solid color, extremely simple, um, like heathered neutral colors. I was gonna call it the plain rain, the plain seamless range, but that's so boring. But I don't know, we have the plain one and then the hero one and the reflective range. The, the, the outfit underwears. This is so the weird. Like, hey. Hey. I'm wearing the blacks. I'm wearing the gray. Really great. We have seven colors of them. I don't know how I got seven colors. We have seven colors of them. They're super soft. Honestly, these are great, man. Like they, they don't ride right. up. They're just yeah. really, they're more silky. So they're like a silky yeah. performance underwear. And so, I don't know how we're gonna mark those on Instagram. Just, you should just have. I'm just gonna have to shred down like this. this. <laughs> I have to take the website photos. Uh, yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> little calves and just <laughs> crop them. Headed to the meetup right now. Um, yeah, outfit. I've got the black reflective fish tail on. I've got Tina jeans, brown shoes. Everyone's rocking outfit. We're running a little late. It's not four yet, but okay. Oh yeah, let's call it. Let's call next L. Cancel this one. Call next L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Can we cancel? Yeah. Cheers. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Well, we're gonna be nice. See you guys there. That's fine. It's August 9th today, and uh, it's about an hour and a half before my flight to New York. So we're going from London to Montreal to New York. We're getting to New York at 8 p.m. in our meetup like at nighttime and then our meetups the following afternoon and uh, I don't have my passport. I've looked through everything and I think I left it at the Airbnb which is about an hour away from here, 50 minutes. So we're not going to make, there's no possible way to make this flight. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to New York. I'm hoping I can find my passport so I can leave London. If not, I don't have my driver's license. So my, uh, my passport's the only form of identity I have. So, we're really hoping it's at the Airbnb and I'll just buy new flights. Irresponsible, stupid mistakes. There's been a million things going on and just like, trying to, yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll just move to London. I don't know. And start a new life. I feel like a mess. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Stay tuned. I'll hopefully see you guys in New York.
see you then.